Hey guys, it's Catherine, and I am really excited to share with you my favorites from 2015. I haven't been painting that long, but I started painting in 2014, so all the new stuff that I found this year is going to be included along with like other like drawing things and stuff that I just, things that make my life easier and things that I just really enjoyed using that have become a staple that I found this year. So first things first is these wet wipes. Okay. The price and the convenience of these is just outstanding. So you can get 30 of them for a dollar at the dollar store. And I got them initially for polymer clay to clean up my surface in between um, colors and just to clean off the pox machine and stuff. But these will work like with oil paint. Like they'll take oil paint off my hands. If I get it on my shirt, like it will like rub it off a little bit. Like really great alcohol and paraben free. And they smell really good. Um, I mean, not like the best, but like, they don't smell bad for a dollar from the dollar store. Awesome. The Williamsburg oil paint. And this is some right here. That green. This is the best paint that I have found so far that I've been able to afford on my own that I've tried out. It is expensive, but you get exactly what you're paying for. Um, it's buttery, but also grainy, and it's not like super weighed down by fillers and um like linseed oil and stuff like that it is based with linseed linseed oil but it is made in new york i think and it's handmade and it's handmade in the u.s so it doesn't sit on the shelf for too long because it doesn't have to like come over from china and like sit on the shelf so it doesn't have a lot of fillers in it so that's the nice thing about that and it just it just works so well like oh love it galgan which is by gamblin and as you can see, I got the big, the big mama, big daddy thing of it this time around um, because I just used it so much. It's become a staple. It has totally simplified my medium use in oil painting because I used to have to do like the one third, one third, one third of like Gamsol, linseed, and uh, liquid to make a medium. But this is just like totally streamlined it. Like. I just use it for everything. You can use it, it dries quickly, so you can use it for underpainting. And it's easy enough to use, <clears throat> excuse me, for glazing. Another one for oil painting um, is Simply Simmons brushes. So I have three here to show you, but like this is what it looks like. And they're made, I think, by Simmons brand, which is a really high quality brand, but this is like a, the, um, a cheaper version but I mean even just compared to like my Princeton Catalyst which doesn't last very long they're better than um, some of the more expensive brands they can take a beating before they even like start to show wear like I have two here a fresh one and then one that I've used quite a bit but it doesn't matter you know that they start fraying because even though it does take a while for that to happen because they're so inexpensive I think they're like about four dollars, but you can get them on sale for like two dollars. Next thing that I found this year that I didn't think that I was going to like is these Uniball pens. They're rich, um, transparent inks, and they're workhorses. Okay, like they will last like so long. There's a continuous flow. They dry pretty quickly. You do have to like kind of not put your hand over it because it can absorb, um, depending on what type of paper that you use like it's already I got some of the blue on my finger ba barely but they're really really super fine so you can get like really really tiny detail I'm gonna put it in front so you can see that check it um the only downside is the violet it just looks black it doesn't really retain um a lot of its color qualities the violet I mean on white it does but like this is violet it looks black exciting and they're cheap and you can get them out in office depots and you can make really like nice quality work with them so core so these new watercolors that came out recently every watercolors with acrylic paint properties so they they mix easily however they if you don't want them to mix they still like retain their like integrity of the color without getting muddy um the nice thing about these is that they've done a um a startup kind of introductory price because they're trying to get it out so people know about them this is um three different sets right here like so cheap like and they're on sale sometimes i think i got one of the sets for like 20 dollars with like six different colors in it 
and like buying them individually, some of them are like 13 bucks. The only downside of these so far that I found is that they mix really well with water. So like they don't last as long as like Winsor and Newton will. Like they just absorb into the water and it's like where did that go? I just put like a squirt out. So that's the only downside I've found so far. Um, and the cool thing about these too is that they have mediums. Like they have the oxgall and then like a medium because they're so pigmented that if you add the medium to the water, you don't have to use as much water. Very odd for me is this acrylic clear gesso. It's by Liquitex and it's matte. The nice thing about that is when I'm painting on canvas tote bags and I have a video about this so you can see what they look like, um, I can paint my entire section with the clear gesso and like the paint shows through underneath and I only can, I only have to paint on like the parts that I want painted and I don't have to do the entire thing and it's not like a weird like white gesso on it. So um, it dries quickly. I do tend to use two coats of it when I'm painting the tote bags. Great find for me at least. I don't know about what other people would really use it for but that's what I use it for. Encaustic. So encaustic wax. I found it this year. Um, I mean I could talk forever about encaustic because I have so much stuff for it. Um, which is the the downside is to get started with it you have to purchase so many different things like a heat gun a heat section you have to have the respirator you have to have fans for ventilation you have to have mediums you have to have slick box you have to buy more of these like you have to have tins for it you have to have gloves like there's just so many steps involved with using it there's so many like options and opportunities and different like techniques that you can use um oh this says made in the usa RNF, that's cool too. They have a YouTube channel, RNF does, and you can learn all about encaustic and they do a lot, like answer a lot of questions and stuff. I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, Richard is the guy that made it, so he talks about the wax. He's just a wealth of knowledge. Painters, um, black opaque paint markers. Um, they're so expensive. Like I found this kind of just randomly at Walmart. It was just so expensive that I was like, mm, why not? I'll just try it. But it ended up being so great that I will uh, continue to buy these. I buy them specific specifically for my painted uh, tote bags. I've stocked up on them. Like I haven't even opened this one yet. That's the thing that they're disposable. Um, that's the negative part that they run out pretty quickly and the nibs dull pretty quickly as well. Um, so that's the only thing, but because they're so expensive and they're so readily available that you can find them anywhere. Like I, like I said, initially got them at Walmart, but they, I got this, these from like Blick. Okay, we're almost done. So next thing is the sign pins. Um, they're black and blue is what I found them in. They're by Pilot. They're called Razor Point and they have, um, just felt tip they're just felt tip fine point pens. They don't bleed through paper, even on notebook paper. They're so easy to write with. And it's just so soft and it just feels so nice. And it just like continuous flow and um, they're inexpensive, they're disposable. But I haven't had one that's run out yet. So, I mean, I can tell that one of them is starting to run out, but it hasn't run out yet. And I use them a lot. So they're just great to write with. They're like, they're like luxury pens. I like them a lot. So, sign pens, and they're inexpensive, and I got these from Binders, which is just like Blick, but Atlanta-based. And the last thing that I want to talk about now is Copic markers, yeah. So, um, I don't need to convince you of why these are good, because I'm sure you already know, but, um, they're just so high quality. There's so many colors that it just like fuels my desire to like collect things. I just like getting them and they like feel good. Like the clicky sound and it like it's a nice shape and they don't roll off and they're portable. Like you just buy the marker and you can refill it a dozen times and then, and you can use it on bristol paper. You can use it on different kinds of paper. Like there's just so much you can do with them and they're so portable. You don't have to buy a ton of stuff. Like you don't need to, it's safe like it's it's just a marker it's kind of smells like alcohol a little bit but um you don't have to spend a lot of money on the supplies um so it's just quick and portable like this is just so great and they're easy to work with once you like kind of figure them out so COVID markers anyone that says that they're expensive to deal with it's like go buy some oil paint or some encaustic and then like complain about the price of that like 
there's so much involved. Even acrylic painting, you have to buy a canvas, you have to buy paintbrushes. Like, there's so much other stuff involved with that. It's just a marker. It's just a marker, and you can replace the nibs. Like, it's just, it's a great, great thing. So, anyway, the printer started going. It's kind of weird because I'm not printing anything, but anyway. So that's all, it's my favorites. And I am really excited to talk about them. I love talking about art supplies. If you have any questions about where I got anything or any recommendations on encaustic, acrylic, oil painting, watercolor, anything, um, markers, pens, anything, just let me know. And also if you use this stuff and you like it too, I wanna hear about it, I love talking about art supplies. So that's it, that's 2015 in a nutshell. So see you guys later, bye.